Hey bro, what's up? Let's go for a party tonight, bro. No, yaar, I have some work to do. Hey, what are you doing, bro? You are always in the lab doing something on the computer. I know, bro, but you know I love research. Hey, what research? You just sit on the computer and Google stuff. That anyone can do. Even now we have Chat GPT to do such research thing. Uh, so you think that Google search and research are the same thing? Of course, you are being paid for doing Google search only. Soon Chat GPT will take away your job also. No, no, bro, you are wrong here. Let me tell you the actual difference. So when we talk about search, we are generally looking for an answer. It can either be a number or it can be a fact. But when we talk about research, we are looking for many answers, which can be a statement, fact, or even a combination of these. Uh, do you love dogs? Yes, everyone loves dogs. They are so adorable. Okay, so think like this. Can a dog improve the life of a person who is fighting from cancer? Obviously. I can Google search it and the answer will be either yes or no. But a research person will not think like this. A research person will think like in what ways having a dog can improve the life of a person who is fighting from cancer. Here we cannot have a simple answer like either a yes or a no. So this is an example of an actual research question which will have many answers. So do you need one more example? Mm, yes, sure. So you would just search that how much did the population of the world grew in 20th century and the answer to this simple Google search will just be a number. But a researcher will not think like this. He will think that what are the factors that fueled the growth of population during the 20th century. Now there can be multiple answers to this like advances in medicine, advances in sanitation or advances in nutrition. So we have multiple answers to this one simple research question. So this is what you guys do? Find multiple answers to the questions? No, no, no. We can dive much more deeper into this. How? Like the previous research question can be narrowed down to what advances in medicine fueled the growth of world population in 20th century. So this becomes your research topic? Yes. So you start with the generic topic, convert it into question, then find multiple answers to it and then dive deep in one of the answers to get to your research topic. Exactly. Okay bro, you continue your work. So I hope you would have understood the difference between a Google search and a research. And along with that, I have also showed you an example of how you can convert a general topic into a specific research question for your work. Till the next week, take care.